Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look, check this out, Tim. Look at that. Look at that. So look at that. That's a plutonium. A plutonium hat pie. Oh, ho. okay. So we got a fun clutch tonight. And I say tonight, it's Sunday night. So we got a, right. These are actually kind of like we sometimes breed to get exactly what we're looking for. This time we're breeding to get something in the future. So that being said, this snake right here is probably more than likely a world's first. What this is, not necessarily is it a world first for what, well, it's probably even a world's first for what it looks like. But the idea is this is a titanium. So we bred it to a pied. So the father of the snake is a pied which means it's supposed to have the white bands, but that takes two generations. But it had a gene called titanium in it, and it's a phantom, and it's a tiger, and it's carrying the genes from its father of a pied. And this, genetically speaking, is a world's first snake. We've hatched a phantom titanium before, but we've never hatched a phantom titanium tiger het pied. So let's see what we got in here, because we got a lot of baby snakes in here. So these snakes are really ready to come out like that one was. And, and some of them have already been halfway out or almost out. Whoop, there we go. So this is another titanium. That's a titanium tiger, but no no phantom in it. But it's, well, is that a super tiger? No. Whoop, 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 whoop. So that is a more proof that the male is a titanium, which is important because it's a pipe. And we were counting on that to do all that, but we're still looking for that real combo one we're really looking for. And of course these eggs are leathery, just like you think they look. Whoop. Here's another phantom. Whoop, there's, now it's just a phantom. Now this one here was is carrying the titanium gene because the mom is a, a pet titanium, not a titanium. So therefore, it means it's got a 50% chance of carrying the citron gene is what you call it when it's pet titanium. Whoa, well that's quick. The belly button is done. We're gonna take that one out. These get really slimy. It's the only time a snake is slimy. Slimy things are like eels and fish and not, these are not fish and these are not eels. So they're snakes, snakes are not slimy. Okay, here we go, here we go. So there we go. And there is, now this snake here shows nothing really, but I can tell you by looking at it, that's a het titanium, but it already shows even pied markers, which are the high white sides coming up. And titanium does that too. So being a ti het titanium, and a hat pied and a tiger. It's gonna make it have a really kind of high side, high bellies and high side pattern. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this, look, check this out, Tim. Oh, oh, look at that snake. So there's a, so that's the platinum gene we're looking for. Yo, so that one there is a platinum, phantom, hat pied, citron, I'm sure. Wow, look at that. There's a super tiger, right? So here we go. So there's a super tiger right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that one. This one's really thinking it's a brand new day. That's a platinum. That's a platinum super tiger, isn't it, or no? So both of these are super tigers. This is a phantom. That's just a platinum, right? That's a platinum super tiger. I don't think that's a phantom. Yeah, not a phantom. No phantom in that. My hands are so slimy because baby snakes are slimy. Not adults. This guy's just sitting here with his nose hanging out. Okay, Tim. What the heck is this? Besides it looking exactly like an anthrax. Phantom tiger. Oh, uh, that is what, that's weird. The front of it looks so different. Definitely. Completely ready to come out. Now this one, once in a while we get ones with a little tiny birth defect. Look at the tail on this one. But 100% perfectly healthy. So the platinum's coming from the dad. Yes. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Tim does most of the breeding, or all the breeding, really, but he gets a little bit of help time to time from other people to shop. Now look at that. Wow. That is a beautiful platinum phantom hat pied super tiger. It's funny, because I think I noticed something. I bet you didn't notice it. He's got one eye that's a little smaller than the other eye. So he has a, a little birth defect. Now, the crazy part about these, these are really unrelated snakes. Oh, look at that. There's another beautiful snake. Not quite ready to come out, but it's a beautiful phantom. We still haven't got the one I'm looking for. I'm hoping, we're hoping to get. Okay, there's a tiger, pied. Oh, now here's one we haven't gotten one of yet. This is the first one of these we've gotten. It's a phantom with no tiger, with no platinum, with no anything. 
That's the first Phantom, right? So look at the difference of the pattern and color. It's just kind of like completely different looking snake. Same mom, same dad. Crazy, crazy amount of genetics. Oh, look at that snake. Guess what? I think we got our snake. We got a Phantom, Platinum, Super Tiger, Het Pied, Titanium. That's the, everything we wanted and it appeared to be healthy. Everything looks fantastic about it. Look at this snake. It's gonna be make them not only in phantom, it's gonna make them in platinum. It's gonna do everything. So that's an important snake. Now, if that's a boy, we can we can probably breed them in the, as early as 12 months. So let's see. That's really everything that we were looking for right there. That's the big finale. There's a tooth sticking out and I can't quite see it on that. I know it's there. It's right there, I can see it. It's right, right there. We have a good possibility of getting another one. I used to use razor blades, but people got too nervous. And the funny part is the razor blade's really safe the way we do it. So there we go, it's a phantom. Tiger, Tim, look at that. So look at that. So you can see that, I can see the egg tooth there. It's just that little teeny right there. The egg tooth is doing good. Whoa, 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 are you ready to get out? You are ready to get out. Man, we got a lot of babies in this one. Ooh, here we go, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Well, that's, just, that's, a, that's a plutonium. A plutonium hat pie. Oh, ho. that's world's first right there, I guarantee you. And it looks different than most plutoniums. It's kind of cool, no phantom in it, but it reminds you of a phantom. But that's going to make some world's cool snakes, I'll tell you that. So there's another one of them eggs you got to worry about. So I don't want, this is why I'm here tonight on my day off, because I can't let a baby snake die just because I'm lazy. Looks perfect, except it's on the, it's on the other side. So it's a super tiger. And my pop little membrane, make sure he's not tangled up. And uh, he looks great. He's going to be a perfectly healthy baby. It'll take him about five minutes to get to get a good breath of air but he'll get a good breath of air like the other one now he doesn't have to go through that thick membrane and he probably wouldn't have he looks a little bit thin a little bit small we have a lot of lot of them that come out that are twins that are weak and they end up turning out to be some of the prettiest healthiest snakes we hatch and it's a phantom man we did good on the ratio tim yeah man oh that's no no tiger right yes yeah, tiger. okay that one I'm gonna take out even though it's a little bit longer than some, just cause it's okay. Because it's it's still a little button like that. Cause I, I know that I just don't want all this, the slime gets kind of nasty. And these some of these guys have been out, been basically ready to come out all day. And some of them even crawled in and out and everything else. So let's see here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Look at that. There's the whole thing again. It's definitely a platinum. It's a plutonium. It's a plutonium phantom. I was gonna say it looks like a phantom. So this here is literally like all the genes. Look at that, completely done. Now it didn't absorb all its yolk, but it absorbed all the yolk it could. A phantom plutonium. We never hatched one of those. That's a world's first. I've never heard of anybody that possibly could have hatched one. Ooh, look at that. It's a platinum, it's a platinum phantom. That's the first one of those we hatched today. So that's a platinum phantom. We've hatched lots of them. I mean, the only one in this clutch that's only a platinum phantom. And the other one was a, a, a normal phantom and that's the first platinum phantom. And you can see this one here has been working hard at getting out. Real hard at getting out. What do we got here? Oh, oh, there it is. And that is literally, this is a rare snake. Because what this is, is a, is a normal. <laughs> that's what a reticulated python is supposed to look like. But to be honest, it's got a pied marker because it's het pied it, it, and it comes up the side the whites. So they actually have markers. You can see how high the white is. So that is a normal snake, except it's carrying that gene from the pied. That is a beautiful snake right there. Look at the pattern on its neck. It looks, doesn't that look like a clown? But it's a, it's a phantom and uh, it's not ready to come out. Oh man, look how full this thing is. That thing is, must be really ready to come out. It literally looks like it just ate a rodent. Look at this belly on this thing. It's literally gigantic, but it's, it's coming to pull it out. It's, it's fine, it's only got that little nub left. But you see, 
right there is its first meal. Well, that first meal is like literally like two mice and it's full of the highest protein and everything, the, the yolk itself. So what'll happen is this snake will go out and then shed and then start finding its own meals. And it's all programmed. Look at this one, it's crawling out on its own right there. Come on, buddy. You can do it, you can do it. Look at that. So he's just cruising on his own, crawling out. And like I say, he's a normal. But we're gonna put him back in with it, all the goodies on him. Let him do his thing, cause he'll suck. When, so when they start breathing, what happens is they start inhaling all those, they basically start taking in all the other eggs, all the other, the yolk and stuff. We've seen everybody that's in there and we got, oh, so we ended up with that special one right here. Look at that. So making sure he's not entangled at all. He's not, he looks great. So we're gonna call it a, call it a day and a great day it is. And hope you guys had a great day, enjoyed the video. And keep living your dream, because you know what? We're gonna, so you might as well do the same thing. Anything you want to do is the right thing to go do. As long as it's not hurting other people, and maybe if you get a chance, help as many people on the way. Anyway, peace out.